Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about an introduction to real exchange rates. In this video we're going to look at how to calculate the real exchange rate in economics and the real exchange rate is equal to what's called the nominal exchange rate multiplied by the price index in the domestic country divided by the price index in the comparator foreign country so that's the real exchange rate equal to the nominal exchange rate multiplied by the price index in the domestic country divided by the price index in the comparator foreign country now to work out this we're going to look at the formula and we're going to input some actual figures into it so in example one up here what we're going to see is that the dollar to the euro exchange rate the example we're looking at is that one euro gives us one dollar so that's a one-to-one -one exchange rate or one-to-one -one relationship in the nominal exchange rate the price index in the euro area is 100 and the price index in the US in our starting point is 100 as well. So using our formula here, what we can say is that the real exchange rate, the R E R I is equal to the nominal exchange rate is a one to one, one euro gives us one dollar. So we know that this is one to one. We multiply that by the price in the domestic country. We are saying that this is the euro area for us. So the price in the domestic country or region is 100, all divided by the price in the comparator foreign country, which we are saying is the US. And that price index is 100. So under our calculations here, what we can see is the real exchange rate is equal to one multiplied by and 100 divided by 100 gives us one. So the real exchange rate is one in this case here. So that means that both the nominal exchange rate and the real exchange rate are the same. And one euro gives us one dollar in nominal and real terms. Now, what's going to happen here is we are going to look at example two and we're going to see what happens when the price index, when inflation in the euro area increases to 120 in terms for price index. Now, we're going to use the same uh, formula again for the real exchange rate. So we're going to say that the real exchange rate in time period I is equal to the nominal exchange rate, as we can see up top in example two, is still one euro gives us one dollar. So that's an exchange rate of one to one. That's multiplied by, in our case here, the price in the domestic country, in the domestic region, has increased to 120. So one to zero here. And the price in the comparator foreign country is still at 100 so price index of 100 here now in this case what we have is the one stays the same we multiply this by the 120 price index for the euro area divided by the 100 price index in the us gives us a figure of 1.2 and if we multiply one by 1.2 we get a figure of 1.2 overall. So what does this actually mean? Well, first off, it is an increase in exchange rates. So when we now compare the real exchange rate, we're saying that this has increased, or in economic terminology, we would say that this exchange rate has appreciated. So to appreciate, we mean that it has increased in value, relative to another currency. So we are saying that the euro is stronger now or has appreciated compared to the US currency, the dollar. So now our one euro in real terms is actually giving us one dollar and 20 cent. 
So now the euro has appreciated and one euro gives us one dollar and 20 cent. So what does this mean for competitiveness? Well, if we have a currency that is appreciating, it tends to mean that the competitiveness of your country is diminishing or decreasing. Uh, decreasing. So the reason for that would be as follows. When your currency appreciates, and if you are exporting goods to the US, well, those exports are now more costly for the US consumers to purchase. So the exports are more expensive. Why? Because the dollar is now weaker in relation to the euro. So US customers must exchange more dollars for an equivalent sum of euro. In this case, exports from the euro area to the US seem more expensive and therefore the euro area sees a decrease in its competitiveness. So exports drop and competitiveness drops as well. Now we can compare this to example three and in example three, what we start off with is the exact same nominal exchange rate, one euro to one dollar. The price index in the euro area reverts back to 100, but now we see here that the price index in the US has increased. So what we're saying in this case here is the US is experiencing inflation. So inflation has gone up in the US. Now, we will go back to our original formula and we know that the real exchange rate, R, is equal to the nominal exchange rate, which stays the same, one to one. So one in this case here, we multiply that by the price in the domestic country or region, which is the euro area here, which has stayed at 100. And we divide this by the price in the foreign country. And we now know that the price, the inflation rate has increased in the US and this has gone up to 120. So when we work out the maths of this one, it becomes the real exchange rate is equal to 100 divided by 120, which gives us not 0.83. So when we work out the, on a calculator, when we work out 100 divided by 120, it gives us 0.83. And if we multiply this by one, we get a value of 0.83. So what's happened in this case here? Well, in this case, the euro has decreased in value relative to the US dollar or in our terms, it has depreciated. So there is a depreciation. So a depreciation of the euro compared to the dollar. So now a euro is only getting us 0.83 dollars or 83 cent in that case which means that in competitiveness terms, actually our competitiveness in the Euro area has increased. Now, why is that the case? Well, the case here is that each US citizen, when they're exchanging dollars for Euro, can now get more Euro for their equivalent dollar because the Euro has depreciated, it's now weaker in value. And in that case, if they're getting more Euros, for the equivalent dollar, that means that they can purchase more exports for the same amount. So that means that Euro area exports will tend to increase. So as the exports go up, uh, the competitiveness also increases in the Euro area and there is an improvement in their terms of trade, all else the same. So overall, the real exchange rate takes into account not only the nominal exchange rate, but also the price levels in the domestic current, uh, country and the comparator foreign country. And when the inflation rates start to change in our two examples, example one, we saw the euro area inflating 
And in example two, we saw the US area inflating. In both cases, the impact on the real exchange rate is important because that can determine the competitiveness of the country. And that in turn will determine the type of export base and the success or failure of exports to a degree. So we can see an impact from the real exchange rate right into the real economy in terms of exports, which will filter back in to something called aggregate demand. And it can start to shift aggregate demand and expenditure in the economy. I hope you call back to Cultnomics soon. Bye for now.